Welcome to Friend or Foe. I'm Kennedy, the chief of the game show precinct. And today, I'll play your good cop and your bad cop. In a moment, these three players will have to choose between these potential partners, three people who they've never met, never spoken to, never even sat in a jury pool with. And together, these new teammates will move through a world of trust, knowledge, and betrayal. They'll work together to build a trust fund and ultimately decide whether to share the money as friends or fight over it as foes. Here on Friend or Foe. meet our three players. Our first player is Mark. I'm a 20-year-old financial advisor. I graduated from college at 19. And Mark's smart, very smart. He gets girls to go out with him by telling them he's AJ McLean from the Backstreet Boys. AJ, love you. Next, we have Melissa. I'm a cosmetologist, and I'm also a devout Buddhist. Melissa doesn't seem to be living the divine life. She stole office supplies from work. Bad karma, Melissa. And finally, there's Julian. I'm a fitness trainer. I'm into sports, and I love salsa dancing. Julian also likes to blow off work. He left one job after only six hours. Well, we've met our three players, and now it's time to meet their potential partners. Your first potential partner is Ellen. I'm a recruiter for the entertainment and accounting industries. But Ellen keeps her age off the books. When it comes to dating younger men, she shaves years off her life. Next, there's Jeff. Hey, I'm a marketing rep for an internet company, and I like watching Will and Grace and uh, collecting shot glasses. Well, the IRS would like to collect on Jeff. He's been audited twice for cheating on his taxes. And finally, you have Dana. I'm a hip-hop dance instructor. I enjoy photography and writing screenplays. If Dana wrote a screenplay of her life, it might be called I Was a Teenage Vandal. Dana used to egg cars and pee-pee people's homes. Well, players, those are your choices. Now it's time to pick your partners. Mark, who did you choose? I chose Ellen. Mm-hmm. And what about you, Melissa? Who did you pick? I chose Dana. Mm. And how about you, Julian? I chose Dana as well. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Well, that means that Mark and Ellen are now a team. And Dana, according to the Friend of Foe rules, if more than one person picks you, you get to pick your partner. So who will it be, Melissa or Julian? Um, I'm going to choose Melissa. All right, then. Melissa, you and Dana are now paired up. And that means, by default, Julian, you and Jeff are a team. Our teams have been formed, and the test of knowledge and of trust is about to begin when we return to friend or foe. Three teams are now in game position, and each of their stations has been specially wired so they can hear the sound of my voice. How is everybody doing in there? Good! Yes. Well, I like how you're going to be doing a lot better when you find out that I am placing $200 in each of your trust funds. Yeah. There you go. Let's start this thing out right. In Big this round, there are four questions worth $500 each. Both players must agree on an answer and lock it in at the same time in order to score. You have 15 seconds for each question. You guys ready for the first one around one? Yes, sir. Right, here we go. In the song, Oh, Susanna, the narrator is coming from Alabama with a banjo on his knee. But where is he going? Georgia, Oklahoma, Indiana, or Louisiana? And begin. Louisiana. Are you sure? Absolutely. Okay, hit it. Going to Louisiana. Oh, is it Oklahoma? Oklahoma? I think it's Oklahoma. Get, it's Oklahoma. 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 No, he's coming from there. So our three teams have locked. Look at that. Mark and Allen say Louisiana. Melissa, you and Dana say Oklahoma. Julian, you and Jeff say Oklahoma. Oklahoma is okay. But the correct answer is Louisiana. Oh, Five hundred for Mark and Allen to start the game off right. Here's your next question, players. Which of these countries does not call its currency a dollar? Australia, South Africa, Canada, or Singapore? And begin. I think it's Australia. Hurry, hurry. Five I seconds. Let's say Singapore. 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 
Let's, let's hope our guest is. Okay. I don't know. South Africa. Let's go. We're gonna. We gotta go. South Africa. No, our three teams have locked. Mark and Ellen, you guys say Singapore. Melissa, you and Dana say Singapore. Julian and Jeff say South Africa. The correct answer, South Africa. Nice. South Africa uses the RAND. Here's your next question. What is your mother's second cousin's relationship to you? First cousin, first cousin twice removed, third cousin, or second cousin once removed? And begin. What relationship is that to you? I think it's your second cousin once removed. Okay, hit it. Okay, okay. It's either that one or the second cousin once removed. Uh, let's go with the first one. First one, First yeah. cousin. Okay, okay. Let's do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Second or third? Second twice removed. Okay. No word. Time is now up. Mark and Ellen, you guys say second cousin once removed. Melissa and Dana, you guys did not lock in soon enough. I'm sorry. You guys don't get any money, even if you got it right. Julian, you and Jeff say first cousin twice removed. And the correct answer is second cousin once removed. Because the cousin degree stays the same, but the generation is once removed. I've always wondered that. That means that Mark and Ellen, you guys score once again. You're in lead with 1,200. With your final question of the first round, 700 for Julian and Jeff in your trust fund. That means you're in second place. Now, Melissa and Dana, you guys better catch up because you haven't answered any questions right. you got to get this one to stay alive. On the golf course, if someone asks for a mulligan, what is it? Pitching wedge, tee, do-over, or caddy? And begin. Uh, pitching wedge, tee, do-over, do do-over, do-over, do-over. Do 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 I don't know what pitching it is, wedge. Pitching wedge. Okay, I'm trusting you. That's just like caddy. All right, our three teams have locked. Mark, you and Ellen say pitching wedge. Melissa, you and Dana say caddy. Julian and Jeff, you guys are guessing it's a do-over. And the correct answer, you hulks, it's do-over. Mark and Ellen, you guys are going on to the next round. You have $1,200 in your trust fund. And hey, Julian, you and Jeff are tied with them. You also have $1,200 in your trust fund. That means you are moving on up. Not to the side of the second round. Melissa and Dana, sorry, no dollars for you at all in this round. That means you must go. If you can't choose friend or foe, walk this way. Dana, Melissa, you guys will like this part of the game because I don't ask any questions. But I will tell you. <laughs> this is the trust box, and inside you each will find a button you will use to choose friend or foe. This decision will determine how your trust fund is divided. If you both choose friend, you'll split your earnings, each getting $100. However, if one chooses friend and the other chooses foe, foe takes the entire 200 and friend gets nothing. Now, if each selects foe, then neither of you gets the money and you both leave empty-handed. So, normally I would give you each a chance to speak your piece, but it's not really your money because you guys didn't answer any of the questions right. It's my money. I gave it to you, so this is how it's going to go. I want you both to choose friend because your family's watching, and if you get greedy with $200, you're going to look like an arse. So, each of you slip a hand inside the trust box. It's time to choose friend or foe. up your decision is locked please place your hands on the table you good listener Melissa very what did I say to choose friends you good listener oh yes what did I say to choose friend all right let's see what you pick $200 is on the line who's a friend who's a foe ladies I did not know we will have to reveal you went friend you listen well and you went foe she's taking your hundred bucks so mean. $200 wow congratulations <laughs> thank you you are waltzing out of here with a big smile on your face and my disappointment, young lady. I'm and sorry. And too. Yes, exactly. I'm sorry. Well, you can, you can spank her later. I will. Two teams remain. Will the remaining teammates be a memorable partnership like Julia Roberts and Richard Gere, or will they split up like every guy she's dated? Find out when we return to Friend or Foe. of friend or foe, and looky here, Mark and Alan, you guys have $1,200 in your trust fund, which means you are tied with Julian yes. and Jeff. 
The excitable duo also has 1,200. However, in this round, things can change very quickly because we double the value of each question to $1,000. You guys ready to play? Yes. All right, here's your first question. Round two. Which aging rock star has never been married to a professional model? Billy Joel, Mick Jagger, Sting, or Rod Stewart? And begin! What do you, do you know? Sting. You think it's Sting? You sure? Yeah. Okay, Sting. Yeah, Sting. All right, our two teams have locked. Mark and Ellen, you think it is Sting. Julian and Jeff also say Sting. The correct answer is Sting. Yeah! And has twice been married to actresses. Here's your next question. You tied teams, you. <laughs> Which of these car models is a Toyota? Altima, Avalon, Accord, or Accent? And begin. Avalon. Is it? Avalon. I, I don't know about cars. Avalon. Okay, I go with you. I'm going to trust you. you better hit it, hit it. Uh, Avalon? Avalon? Okay. Yeah. All right, our two teams have locked. Mark and Ellen, you guys say it is the lovely Avalon. Julian, you and Jeff say it is the practical Avalon, and the correct answer is Avalon. Still tied. Here's your next question. According to Allure magazine, what is the most commonly stolen item in the United States? Candy, lipstick, cigarettes, or hotel soap? And begin. Gotta hotel be hotel soap. soap. Hotel soap. Gotta be. That's what I think too. Uh, cigarettes? Candy. Cigarettes? Uh, no, no candy? What do you think? Can candy? Uh, it be candy because there's more candy, access candy, to it. Candy, candy, candy. Yeah. All right, our two teams yeah. have locked. Mark, you and Ellen, a little obsessed with compulsive. You say hotel soap. Julian and Jeff went for the sweet answer. You guys say candy. And the correct answer is lipstick. Oh. Come on! Oh, the poll was in a lore magazine. Uh, and hotel soap make. is free. Oh. All right, here's your fourth and final question of the second round still tight 3200 apiece listen carefully gay which of these represents the greatest number of degrees latitude of Helsinki frozen water in Fahrenheit right angle or boiling water in Celsius and begin in Fahrenheit uh what do you want to do, latitude? Latitude and Helsinki? Yeah. Okay, let's go for it. I have okay. no idea. I have no idea. Either. I don't know. I'm saying right angle. Her think no, no. Go, go with the first one. What? Go latitude with the first one. First one. Hurry, hurry. Right angle. Hurry. Hit it. Oh, we ran out of time. Mark and Ellen, you guys didn't lock in an answer in time. Too busy bickering, you bickersons. And the correct answer is boiling water in Celsius. Oh. Water oils at 100 degrees Celsius. A right angle is 90 degrees. Helsinki is at 60 degrees north. And water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Our two teams are tied with $3,200 in each of their trust funds. And that means we move into a tiebreaker question. Whoever answers it right moves on to the final round. If you both get it right, whoever answers it fastest is moving on. You guys ready for the tiebreaker? Ready, oh, yes. All right, listen up. Take the first names of the winners from Survivor Season 1 and 2 and carve them on a palm tree. What does it read? Richard and Tina, Colby and Kelly, Ethan and Tina, or Richard and Colby? And begin. Richard and Tina, Richard and Tina, Richard and Tina, Richard and Tina. Richard and Tina. I never Tina. watched it. Richard is one, I, I'm sure I just Go with heard Richard. Go Richard and Colby. Okay, Richard I'm going to go, I'm following. All right, our two teams have locked. Mark and Ellen for the tie. You guys say it is Richard and Colby. Julian and Jeff, to break the tie, you guys say Richard and Tina. The correct answer is Richard and Tina. That means Julian and Jeff are moving on. what mark and ellen you guys didn't get that right so you guys are going to the trust box to choose friend or foe welcome to the trust box ellen mark your trust fund is worth thirty two hundred dollars and before you make your decision let's think about this for a moment mark here likes to pretend he's one of the backstreet boys so when is he going to quit playing games with your heart ellen lies about her age when she dates younger men. Mm -hmm. What does she lie about when she plays with younger men? Mm. Well, I'm going to give you each a moment to speak your mind, starting with you, Mark. You go first. Well, I recall you saying you like dating younger men. I was hoping after this we could go out on a date. <laughs> That's really younger. Kinky. <laughs> Ellen, hmm. you're blushing. The magenta is wearing off. Oh, is it? Is it? Do you have anything to add? 
Um, I just wanted to tell Mark that, uh, you know, in addition to doing uh, recruiting, I'm also uh, a psychic. And so I just wanted to say, you know, remember that, because the rule of karma. <laughs> yeah, you know, the ones who say karma always go foe. Each of you, please place a hand inside the trust box. It's time to choose friend or foe. Time's up. Your decision is locked. Please place your hands on the table. What do you think? You still want to date her? Why not? She's a good-looking woman. That's right. <laughs> Ellen, what do you think? Is there a future in this relationship? Well, we'll see. All right, 3200 is on the line. Let's see what you guys have decided to do with it. We're about to find out who's a friend or who's a foe. You went friend, and you went foe! Whoa. Whoa. That means that I'm you're sorry. taking home. I'm sorry. No, I'm 30, sorry. Just no, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. That better be a really nice date with 3200 Right. AJ. All right. When we return, money and alliances will be on the line as our two remaining players go for the big money. And then go mano a mano to determine if they're friend or foe. We'll be right back. The only game. Looks like Julian and Jeff have been doing a pretty good job in there. 3200 in the trust fund. Yeah. However, gentlemen, you can now earn thousands more if you correctly answer 10 questions. A right answer gives you $500. A wrong answer gets you a strike. Three strikes, and the round is over. However, if you get all 10 out of 10, we will double the entire amount of your trust fund for a grand total of $16,400. 60 seconds, 10 questions. Take a deep breath. It's time to play right or wrong. Red spoon or silver oven? Betty Crocker logo. Silver oven. Silver oven, okay. Wrong. Bandwidth or baud rate? Bits a modem can send or receive per second. Bandwidth, bandwidth. Wrong. What? <gasps> West Virginia or South Carolina? Charleston is its Let's capital. Go West Virginia. W Charleston, South Carolina. Okay, go, go. Oh, oh my God, we're stupid. Oh, round's over. Didn't get any questions right. Oh, well. But you know what? You still have $3,200 in your trust fund. <laughs> and you can write a That's postcard great. home for your family, whining about how poorly you did in the final round. I love you guys, but you do have to choose friend or foe because you're the last to take the long walk yes. to the trust box. We've arrived at our final test of trust. Jeff, Julian, you know your options. <laughs> so, Julian, he's a personal fitness trainer. He's buff. He is. <laughs> mm, let me let me feel. Mm. Are you going to be able to spot him before he lifts your dough? <laughs> and Jeff, you didn't want to pick South Carolina. You didn't even want to pick Jeff. What are you going to pick now, Julian? <laughs> All right, I'm going to give each of you some sacred time to make your case to your teammate. But before I do that, remember, two people have been foed at the trust box. They placed too much trust in their partner, and they paid dearly for it. It all comes down to this. Julian, state your case first. Well, I figure it's, it's uh, better to go home with 1600 than zero. Mm. And um, the reason I quit my job after six months was, or actually six hours, was because... Um, different sales. Yes, it was a salesman job, and I just couldn't hack the line. All so. right, well, let's see if you've sold your case to Jeff. Jeff, do you have anything to say? I have, the, I have the exact same theory, because you start out with nothing when you come here, mm -hmm. and now I have a chance to get something. And 1600 bucks is a lot better than nothing. And I grew up playing sports, and I'm a team player, and I just want to be able to sleep tonight, you know? Team player wants to sleep. Moment of truth is at hand. Each of you slip a hand inside the trust box. It's time to choose friend of foe. Time's up. Your decision is locked. Please place your hands on the table. 3,200 is up for grabs. All right, you a uh, you team player, Julian? Yes. You believe him? I hope so. Well, let's see. Let's find out if you're a friend or a foe. Jeff? 
you and friend. So either you are taking home that 1600 or your friend Julian here is taking everything. Julian, let's find out if you're a friend or foe. You went foe! $3,200 wallet! We actually have to beat that because we can't say that on TV. Are you, you disappointed, Jeff? Yeah, man. I f you know? <laughs> what the f Dude, I trusted you! Thank you, Quentin Tarantino! <laughs> say i'm gonna keep saying until i quiet down hold, hold your breath for a second thank you for joining us we'll see you next time on the game where knowledge can make you money money can make you a friend or foe